Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, an ex-Birmingham detective gets life without parole in a 2020 love triangle shooting death. Yeah. Now, this was a former Birmingham police detective, and uh, she will spend the rest of her life in prison without the possibility of parole. And her name is Alfreda Fluker, and she's 42. Now, she was convicted of capital murder in November in a love triangle shooting death of a 43-year-old woman named Kanisha Nicole Fuller and attempted murder on uh, Mario Theodore White, who was Fluker's police partner and common-law husband at the time. Yes, yes. Now, since it was not a death penalty case, Fluker only possible sentence was life without parole. Now, her sentence was handed down this morning. Now, it says no one is above the law, the DA Danny Carr of uh, Jefferson County said. We hope that this sentence today finally gives the victim's family some peace. Now, uh, prosecutors in the four-day trial, they said that uh, Fluker was an intentional, cold, calculated, and exact when she found that uh, the woman whose name was Fuller and her common-law husband and police partner, White, she caught them together in White's a police vehicle in the Birmingham Park that Friday night. And when she found him, she emptied her service weapon on the SUV they were in. Now, defense attorneys, however, said that Fluker was just overcome with anger when she found Fuller and White having sex in the SUV and fired in the heat of passion, not intending to hurt or kill anyone. Now, the 43-year-old Fuller, fortunately, uh, didn't make it. Now, she was the mother of a teen son, and she died a short time later at the hospital. Now, uh, the... Uh, man involved, which was the uh, Birmingham investigator's uh, common-law husband, White, he was not injured. And uh, after this event, he resigned from the department. Now, police at the time labeled the deadly shooting the result of a love triangle. Now, as we said before, Fluker and White were partners on the Birmingham Police Department's uh, crime reduction team. They also had been involved romantically for several years and had lived together since 2016. Now, Fluker has remained in the Jefferson County Jail without bond since her April 11th arrest, and she was immediately fired from the police force. Now, Fluker testified during her trial chronicling the events of that night. Now, uh, she said she and White had gotten into an argument when he prepared to leave the home around 10 p.m. He took a shower and he took a Viagra pill and put on some cologne. So ladies, we know when your man take a shower and a Viagra pill and put on cologne, he ain't, he ain't going to the barbershop to get a haircut. Mm -hmm. Now, Fluka said their argument turned physical and then White left their Birmingham home. She began to track him on his phone app and eventually went to the park where she said she found White and Fuller having sex. Now, White testified that they were only talking. They were having sex in the passenger seat in the work truck, Fluka said, Wednesday when she took the witness stand in her own defense. She was on top of him, and they were having sex. All I could do was visualize them having sex in that truck and that I ride in every day with him. Now, she said she and White got into a physical altercation first. At that point, she went to her own vehicle, retrieved her gun, and White and Fuller uh, ran. Now, Fluka says she began firing her gun, which she claimed was about 100 to 150 feet away. I went to my truck, I pulled my weapon, and I just started recklessly firing. She said she wasn't trying to kill anyone. 
I wanted Mario to know to stop playing with me. I wanted him to respect me. <laughs> well, Fluka said White left the park, but then put his truck in reverse and re-entered. They got into another argument, all while the wounded Fuller was fighting for her life in the passenger seat. Now, Fluka said she told White they needed to get Fuller to the hospital. Oh, now she's worried about the uh, girlfriend now. She's worried about her after she didn't shot her. She said that he's like, no, I can't leave her truck in the park. Fluka said. Then she told White she was going to take Fuller to the hospital. He pushes me back down on the ground and again and say, no, she can't talk. Mm. Now, Fluka said she leaned into the driver's side of the vehicle and spoke to Fuller. I said, baby girl, you okay? She was coughing and she was moving her head, yeah. Now, this is after the uh, police officer has shot this woman. I don't know how many times, but now she's concerned and asking her, is she okay? Now, she said then she left and didn't call anyone for help. Mm-hmm. She went to her mother's home where she was taken into custody the following morning. Now, authorities testified that Fuller was shot in the leg, the arm, and the head. The head wound described as causing a devastating injury to her brain was the fatal wound. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you know, now, oh, she's concerned about her and she didn't shot her in the head. Well, ladies, hey, men too. You can't just, you know, I know if she could do this over, she would have told that she would have dropped that zero and got her a hero and said, you go on doing what you're doing. I'll just find me somebody else. But no, you're getting this, uh, you know, everybody want to kill. Everybody want to shoot. They want to shoot, but they don't want to kill nobody. <laughs> Baby, when you pick up a gun and shoot, that bullet don't have nobody name on it. It don't say, okay, this is to paralyze somebody. This one is to scare somebody. This will not, inf you know. <laughs> so you need to, to, to think twice, three times, four, five, six, seven times before you go get that gun. Okay? Because, uh... We ain't hearing the heat in the moment. Okay, I was mad. I seen them having sex, and I was just so mad. I didn't want to kill them. I, I, but I wanted to uh, hurt them and get him some respect for it. This man ain't got no respect for you. I mean, if he left the house, and you know he didn't took his uh, <laughs> Viagra pill, this man ain't got no respect for you. And I know this probably ain't the first time you'd have called him. Because you, you followed him this time. So, uh-uh. I know she could do it over again. Now, she done lost her life. <laughs> if you get life without parole, possibility parole, hey, that's your life. You'll never set foot out. Uh, you know, mm, unless she appeal and for some reason, you know, she get appealed and, 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 and have a retrial or... Or, or whatever, but right now, uh, she threw her life away. And guess what? This Negro gonna be with another woman. Probably with another woman. Now, hey, he was with another woman on, when was she arrested? In April 2020. She, that next day, he was with another woman. He was getting out his little black book and calling, and this woman, this other woman is dating because of her jealousy and because of her heat of passion. I guess she thought she was going to get off because of heat of passion. But, baby, can't use that alibi. You you might as well think before you leave. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, what y'all think about this case? Mm-hmm. And it looked like it was a conflict of interest for these two guys to be partners. You know, this man and woman, uh, Fluker and White, uh, to be... Uh, live together, become a law husband and wife, and be partners uh, uh, at work? Come on. Come on. But, uh, yeah, if this white hadn't of, uh, if the, the police guy hadn't of resigned, I'm sure he, they were going to fire him anyway. I mean, because he didn't have any respect for the bad. He up here in a park after hours.
having sex with a woman. That's that's crazy. But I do want to hear your comments. Press that comment button and we shall discuss. All right, guys, that's it for me. And thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, in pardon, be blessed, y'all.